Hey y'all, happy Friday. It's Will Healy here and uh, on Fridays you get a dad joke. So here we go. Why did the electrical plug not want to live on the cul-de-sac? Because there was no outlet. <laughs> I think that's a good one. Okay, anyways, today I want to do a basics for you and I'm going to continue on my line of, of talking about photoelectric sensors because they're one of the most popular automation sensors in the market. And today I want to talk about through beam sensors. And I've showed you this little through beam sensor before and it's nice because it's all one, one housing and so the light comes across, right? A through, beam, a through beam, the emitter sends light to the receiver and when you block it, you can hear the little tone when you block it and it's dark on, we've talked about that in previous videos, it turns on the sensor signal. What's nice about through beams is this is the most reliable sensing technology for photoelectrics that there is because the emitter and the receiver, you got the light and you know you have good light, you know you have good uh, visibility. And so when you block the light, um, you know you've detected the object. So this is the most reliable technology there is. But most through beams are actually, um, are, are typically sold as two separate housings. And so you have to actually like align the two housings and get them just right. I'm, I'm having a hard time here. There we go. Okay, so I got the two aligned, right? So it could be a little complicated. Maybe you don't have power over on one side of a conveyor if you're on a conveyor or something like that, or you don't have enough room on the other side. So sometimes through beams can be a little bit challenging on the electrical or the mounting part of it, especially if you have to get them really far apart. What is nice about through beams is there are versions of photoelectric through beams that are, are you know, 50, 60 meters of sensing distance. So if you need to go a really, really long way between two sensors, how do I get it there? There we go. Between two sensors, a really, really long way. That's something that you can do but it can, be, it can be difficult to actually align them. So you can see here, here's my emitter and here's my receiver. And when I've got it set up in a, in a light on output so that when I line them up, okay, now they're lined up, perfect. Now I know I can see an object. So that's through beam sensors, uh, the most reliable photoelectric sensing technology. And they're very simple with the emitter and the receiver but some of the challenges can be mounting and, and wiring both sides of the application. So next time we'll talk about some other technologies that don't require that. Have a great weekend.